If you happen to take economics in school, then you were probably taught about the prisoner's dilemma, which goes like this. Two people, Wolf and Whiskers, are arrested and are each faced with two options. To rat or not to rat. Briefly, if Wolf chooses to rat and so does Whiskers, both will serve fairly long terms. Whereas if both Wolf and Whiskers choose to not rat, they'll both get off with shorter sentences. However, if one rats and the other doesn't, then the turncoat gets off with the shortest sentence and the poor accomplice serves the longest possible one. It's obvious that the best choice for them both is to say nothing, while the safest option, which you may recognize as the Nash Equilibrium, is to rat to prevent receiving the longest sentence. This here, this little strolling game theory, actually has massive implications in ethology, or the study of animal behavior. Let me put it this way. My back is itchy. I may have lice. I don't know. This is before mirrors were invented, so I can't see my back. Thus, I ask, and you, Mr. Squirrel, choose to scratch my back, and thus will lose some energy from the acorn you just ate. But now, I will be more likely to scratch your back when the time comes, even though it will cost me a portion of my acorn. Obviously, the safest option is to not scratch the other's back in return since we wouldn't know the other's next move, and it certainly wouldn't be worth losing a part of our precious acorn energy for naught. But by taking that risk and reciprocating our altruism, you, Mr. Squirrel, and I will both be sitting comfortably, lice free, and will develop a relationship that will help the both of us survive as long as we both keep cooperating. And it's because of this that fishes like the Spanish hogfish expend energy to clean larger fish for food, protection, and why the larger fish don't eat the smaller fish for nutrients, as well as why chimpanzees groom each other, screening their friends' fur for parasites. In fact, over time, species can evolve to become more cooperative. But that, my friends, is a bedtime story for another night. Oh, this new crazy mother- <laughs>